Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ron Wallace with Balling Down South, and boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. We got a brand new high school baseball coach down here in the Mobile, Baldwin County region. I can tell you he's done it all. He's been at the college level. He's been at the MLB level and minor league as well. I, mean, I can tell you he's going to be a good, great, great coach out there uh, at Foley High School. I want to introduce you guys to the new baseball coach, Eva. Coach Eva, how you doing? Hey, how are y'all? I appreciate you having me on. Man, it's been, it's been, I know you guys, you got a lot of roots down here in this area where you're from, from Baldwin County here in the state of Alabama. You, you play baseball at the college level and at the professional level, so we can definitely say you know what you're doing out there. Talk a little bit about your high school level before going to college. Um, so I'm actually from Foley. Um, I didn't go to Foley High School. I left. My dad was the head baseball coach at Foley from 98 through 2005. Um, he took a head assistant head football job at Carroll High School in Ozark, Alabama. Um, so we left, and uh, he was there for two years. We can't. He was the baseball coach there as well. And then uh, we came back, um, and when we did that, uh, I went to Fairhope High School in 2009. And then uh, that was my freshman year. I think we were ranked two in the state. We got upset in the third or fourth round. I can't remember. Um, and uh, but that team was loaded. I think we had like eighty home runs, and uh, and ended up getting upset late. We had like seven Division One players on that team, all coming back. And uh, and so the next year, Dad actually went to Baymanette, uh, Baldwin County High School, and uh, so I went there. Um, played there for three years for Peter Bezzaretti. Um, went to state championship in two thousand eleven, and. Uh, and then off to college. Now, now in that 2011 year, how was the team and how was it, you know, what did you guys had to do, you know, in order to get to that state championship? Uh, so really on paper, if you looked at us, we didn't have a lot of college baseball players. We didn't, you know, we were kind of a bunch of grinders. We had really good team chemistry. Um, you know, we didn't even make the playoffs the year before. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, when I was at Fairhope, we beat Bayman at 24 to like two and 18 to four in the playoffs. So, uh, but man, things came together at the right time. Coach Bez, who's at Robert Show High School now, did an awesome job with us. And, uh, and we got hot. Our, uh, our pitchers started pitching well. We, we were uh, winning a lot of close ones. And, uh, you know, everybody, it seemed like we had a different hero every game. Like it was really special for something I always remember. And then, uh, but we played, we ran into a bus on state championship. Huntsville had like 13 dudes signed and like seven or eight division one guys. And they thumped us pretty good. Well, now then you went on off, went to Carver, went to Auburn Tigers. You was a four year starter there. SEC regular season batting title as a sophomore. You had, you in the top 10 in, in the Auburn history at bats and at singles. Uh, your 2016 season. You were batting 325 with about 77 hits out of 237 bats, 13 doubles. Uh, on base percentage with that 378. So talk a little bit about playing at Auburn. Man, that was uh, – I mean, it was special. Um, I came into the coach, uh, started every game as a true freshman um, and had a really good year and uh, got a new coach the next year. I started second that year, and then – the new coach came in. He put me in the outfield. Um, oh. Won the batting title that year. And then, of course, the next year was my draft year. And, uh, you know, that was the, the one kind of year that I wish I could have back. But uh, And then my senior year, Butch Thompson, who was who's at Auburn now, um, you know, he came in. And, uh, and I was lucky to play for three different coaches. Uh, you know, it was a blessing and a curse. I think I'm one of three people in Auburn history to ever have to play for three coaches. Um, wow. you know, it kind of, it's tough playing for new coaches, but I learned more because, uh, you know, obviously I got to, uh, you know, learn different coaching styles. I had like four different hitting coaches, two had over two, 10 years in the big leagues. Um, so it was awesome, man. Like it was something like I enjoyed it while I was there and, uh, man, like just watching some of these memories, man, I mean, it brings me back, but you know, it, it was pretty cool. You know, the Auburn family is real. You know, I really gave Alabama a shot, too. And then I had, you know, LSU, South Carolina, like all these schools. Uh, but I wanted to stay in state. You know, I've always been proud of where I'm from. Um, and I knew I was going to reside in the um, 
in the state, so I wanted to either pick Alabama or Auburn. Now, also that that your 2016 year, you had 31 RBIs and two home runs. You was a three-time member of the SEC honor roll and two-time winner of the SEC Community Service Award. Talk about those two awards, the academic side and then doing stuff within the community. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I've always, my mom's always stressed, you know, pretty much made me uh, be a really good student. Um, but, you know, the, I think that the Community Service Award was the one that, uh, you know, I was <laughs> the most proud of. Oh, sorry, I got somebody walking in. Oh, that's probably the one I was most proud of just because, uh, you know, I, I really invest, tried to invest in um, – but, um, you know, the schoolwork was great. I ended up getting a master's degree while I was there. Um, and so I'm always be proud of, but, you know, I don't, I think people, um, and, uh, for Auburn and, uh, you know, I was, I was really proud of that and, and something I definitely have hanging on my. You see that code? I I think I might've lost you. You there? Yeah, I got you. Go. Your, your signal dropped off for a second, but that that's my a good you had. Say again. Yeah, yeah I, uh, my bad. I had to move. I had a dog barking, but uh, yeah, I'm proud of it. And it's hanging on my wall. The most I have, uh, you know, you know, one of my most prized possessions because, like I said, man, that you know, I don't know if there. I might be people to get price when I was there. But, you know, I really tried to invest in Auburn um, because, you know, I was so proud to be, you know, at school there. Now, moving on to your professional career, you did about five years in the professional league, uh, staying with Kansas City Royals, the Colorado Rockets course in the minor leagues, Winnipeg, and uh, Seward Fall. Talk a little bit about your professional career when at the start and then come on to the finish. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I – had a really good first year. Hit, I think I hit 300 um, in rookie ball. Um, about our break, my knee started kind of bothering me a little bit, and I was trying to be, you know, time wasn't like 400 through my first hundred at bats in the minors, and uh, and I didn't want to get sent back to Arizona to go to uh, all our uh, personal training or like rehab stuff. For if you get hurt, they send you there, and it's not as fun. So I was trying to toughen it out and. Uh, you know, probably one of the biggest regrets I have was just not, you know, I should have just went there and got my knee fixed because, you know, by the end of the year, it got worse. Um, and uh, so I had a good year, and, and then I came before spring training. They made me come up in January to rehab my knee for um, like three or four months, and it wasn't ready by spring training, and I ended up getting released in spring training. Um, you know, and then uh, a couple weeks later, the Rockies called me, and uh, – said are you healthy i said heck yeah <laughs> and that's really the only option i had so it didn't take them long to realize i couldn't run to first base um you know but i was hitting 375 of the rockies when they released me so you know it, it's a it's a different game now it's not where you could just hit 300 and make it to the bigs they want you hitting home runs and you know they don't really have time to wait on you if you get hurt um but yeah after that i went you know i played a year and a half in canada winnipeg canada in the independent baseball, um, which at the time, man, I didn't know much about independent baseball, but it ended up, man, there, there's a couple leagues that is the real deal. Like we had two or three big leaguers. We had, you know, most of the guys on our team, pretty much if you start on that team, you played triple A, double A or triple A or the big leagues. And uh, I remember calling my dad and just saying, man, I got to grow up quick because these cats can play. Um, but I played there for a year and a half, and then I went over to um, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, um, got traded there and then, uh, you know, and then I was actually going back there this year when, uh, you know, I got a phone, you know, I, or the whole Foley thing went through. But, uh, so I, yeah, I had to call my manager and tell him I got a, I got a coaching job and I can't come back this year. Well, I mean, you had some ups and downs throughout your, your baseball career, but let's see if we, how you're going to start on the coaching side with all that toolage and all that knowledge that you have from the, baseball experience yourself personally uh what's your first goal uh to start off uh, coaching there at Foley? 
Um, you know, I've always been, you know, people would always ask me, you know, what, what's your goal for the season? I would always say, you know, I just want to, you know, I want to play a full healthy season. You know, coaching-wise, my goal for the season is for these kids to, uh, you know, I want to have more kids come out. Um, I want to have more kids come out, and I want, you know, to get some more excitement around public. Um, I think if we, I think if we do that, I know if we can get them on the field, uh, you know, when I bring the coaching staff in, we're going to be able to teach them how to play the game. Um, but I want to get more excitement around kids wanting to come out and play and join the game. Um, and I'm not really worried about the ones that lost it right now. I think if we do what we're supposed to do, I think they'll come. Um, but like I said, I want to make the most enjoyable uh, baseball experience at Foley. And, uh, you know, I want these kids to be proud that they uh, that they got the opportunity to play baseball at Foley High School. Well, you know, you guys just got a new boys varsity basketball coach over there uh, with Coach G, man. So you guys are definitely on the up and up athletics over there at uh, Foley. Uh, have you had an opportunity to do any Zoom meetings with any of the players that you know are coming back from the last year's roster that weren't seniors? Um, no, I haven't done any Zoom meetings. The I know I know most of these kids. Um, uh, I've helped out before. Uh, so I know most of them. I uh, you know, I sent out some texts and um and made some calls. Um, you know, and and right now I think I'm just trying to get everybody kind of on the same page with all this corona stuff, man. It seems like everything is in different directions, man. And I didn't I didn't realize how much work, man. I've been working on the field, getting trying to get it in, in good shape and I've been running around, you know, I'm, I'm coaching football too. So, you know, we're installing coach Scott over there is the new, uh, head football and athletic director. And, uh, so we're installing a new offense right now. We're running around. I got my head going in a thousand different directions. <laughs> well, that's good coach. I mean, we definitely uh, congratulate you on the new job over at Foley, man. We know you guys going to do a pretty good job. Can't wait to see come out to some of you guys games. Uh, whenever the, you guys are able to get cleared to start training and uh, to get the season off the floor. But thank you for coming on the network. Well, I appreciate you having me. You just let me know if you're going to come down there, man. We'll get you all set up. All right, we will do, Coach. This is the Foley new baseball coach, Jordan Ebert. Thanks for coming on, Coach. All right, thanks for having me.